Tell me about the synthesizer that you built. So um, we built a proximity-based MIDI controller. The hardware consists of a keypad. It's a touch Q-touch-based keypad and a proximity wheel, which works, which can detect from a certain distance as well, and a slider, which is used to control the volume. And you can hear it changing as you came up here to the high volume. Yes, and this is used to control the tempo. Okay. This is high tempo and low. Okay. And with this, we can change the instruments. Right. So um, that's the LED board, which indicates the level of the tempo and the volume. So okay. right now, this indicates the tempo, and this indicates the volume. Okay. So if you increase the volume, right. the greater number of LEDs that glow. And, then, and so tell me about the CPUs on here. There's three There's three at, at, at Mega 1284s on here, right? Yeah, so we have three at Mega 1284s. One of the CPUs is utilized for q sensing of the keypad. So we have 12 buttons here, which have a q circuit here, and it goes to 1284. We have a common ground and common power distribution for the entire board, being controlled by this board. This is the second CPU, which is, util uh, which is doing the capacitance and proximity sensing. It is taking the data for the wheel as well as the sliders and it is also controlling the LED lighting. We have two multiplexing ICs behind this panel that are doing the LED lighting and that's why you see them flickering because they are switching between all the LEDs. So all this data that these two MCUs collect is transmitted via serial to the third CPU. This CPU is uh, processing the MIDI generation and the MIDI codes. It takes in the inputs. And there's a MIDI connector over yeah, here. And there's a, this, um, the signals being generated are generic MIDI signals, so they can be outputted to any keyboard. But in this case, it's a, it's a MacBook that's receiving the MIDI yeah, commands. It's a MIDI to USB converter. That's, uh, the MacBook is simulating a MIDI device here. And so we are generating sounds using the MacBook. Okay. So let's see it. Let's see it uh, in action here. Okay. So with the proximity, as you know, it changes volume and tempo. But if we change, uh, we can change patches, instruments, and uh, various patterns using those instruments using the uh, Q Touch interface. So to change the volume. Pianos, drums, uh, guitars, and by using that in combination with the sequences of patterns, various musical compositions can be made, uh, some of which sound better than others. Of course. <laughs> Very cool, though. It's, it, uh, it looks like you might have been practicing on this a little bit. <laughs> it requires uh, some work, but get used to it. Very cool. Okay. That's about it. Thank you.